burbler. He's in his element. <laughs> it's just like nature. It's what we're all about. Wagons ho! <laughs> Have a look at that! That's when they think it's safe to come out. Not an animal! Bang! <laughs> I guess in the end that's probably why we all go fishing. Absolutely magnificent, folks. Even if I say so, my own airline doing the job beautifully across Bass Strait. Yes, we're back here on King Island in the middle of Bass Strait. And a bloke by the name of Neil Towns makes the roads here. But he's one of the top beach fishermen around and he's got a special surprise for us, folks. The hire car's ready. I think we'll get down the beach. We'll see you then. You might see a boat or two. During the night, yep. Folks, we are at Boulder Beach on the eastern seaboard of King Island in the middle of Bass Strait. Behind me is Victoria and the Australian mainland. Down that way, Tasmania. And Neil Towns is a local from King Island. He lives in uh, Curry. And I tell you what, Neil, you said we were coming to an isolated beach. There's more people here than it was at the grand final down at the footy ground here in September. I've got too many sons. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. But quite seriously, we're here and it's obvious the sun is going down and we're going to have an evening session. What have you got in mind for us today with our viewers all over the world? Oh, well, I just got a strike. Well, wind him in and talk to me. Uh, well, I think, well, for a start, we we'll would be looking for a few flathead. Yeah. For a start, a few salmon. Yes. A little bit of bait. Yeah. Well, not too bad deep, but I would prefer a little bit of flat or a bit of flake. But and uh, when the sun goes down? Oh, mate, I reckon we'll really kill them. We'll slay them tonight. Do you think we might yeah. get a gummy tonight? Uh, as you can see, the ripple across the water, you know, once you see that, well... Isn't that fantastic? Well, Here's Neil, is, I think he's got himself a salmon, or he might oh, have himself well, a think, flathead. I think we've got a little so, flatty. So he's got a flathead. Well, oh, isn't that a good start? Well, well I've got Absolutely my... Absolutely fantastic. Got we've got another tea. line here. <laughs> We've got another line, <laughs> and that, that is not a bad start, I can tell you now. Just hold him there, mate. How's so that? that is a sand flathead. Yeah, it's sandy. I tell you what, we don't catch them that big in Port Phillip Bay, but that's just an ordinary size one. And I know you love eating fish. Would you agree with me? There's not many better eating fish in the sea than the flathead. I tell you what, very, very hard to bait. I don't give a like what anyone else says, but they are hard to bait. Absolutely <laughs> fantastic. I can tell you now, folks. Have you got the feeling? Because I have. We're in for one heck of a time on King Island with some real dinky die Aussies. Goodness me, where'd he come from? He's a beautiful dog. How'd he be out with a pheasant on the island, all right? Oh, geez, I, <laughs> I just He's took a... my glasses off. I, tell you, I thought it was getting a bit dark, but it is. It's beautiful, that moon. Oh, Ooh, did you see the rod go down there? Oh, okay. <laughs> he inhaled that little piece of squid. I reckon you've got a gummy. 
No, no, I think I've got a salmon. No, uh, I'll stand corrected, but <laughs> I, I tell you what, I uh, will bet uh, what hair uh, I've got left. Uh, look at this, and there's not uh, much uh, that I got a uh, salmon because I I know my salmon. I'm hoping later on under the light. Oh, oh, look at that, it's a beautiful look salmon. Look at him down there. My goodness gracious me. I can feel the power. He's a nice salmon, mate. He just inhaled that bait. Come on, up you come. Up oh, you come. Lovely. <laughs> Isn't that just fantastic? Now, just a little bit of uh, housekeeping here. This is where a lot of people will lose a fish because they see it come out of the water like that. And what you do is you bring him in with a wave and you hold it and the rod acts as a shock absorber. And when the water goes out, you bring in a magnificent salmon. Now, that to me is four pound, wow. four and a half pound of the best salmon. Now, I can tell you now, where are we? Point the camera at me, Michael. <laughs> I'm here, folks. Neil, do you think my cameraman's a contortionist? Will you come in here? Oh. This is international uh, television, mate. Oh, I'm sorry there are about people it. in Greece <laughs> and Japan watching you at the moment. Oh. Ah, say the gay good day to our people all over the world. Hello, people. <laughs> Isn't that fantastic? <laughs> now that's a very, very nice fish. That is, that a, is that a is a magnificent, magnificent salmon. He has engulfed that piece of squid, and he's actually just hooked in the lip. Look at that. Have a look at that. That that is as good as it gets. An east coast of Australian salmon. So you were uh, pretty right. You said there could be uh, could be a bit of action. Now there it is. Look at that. Lovely. Now our mates have just talked a few earlier on. You're going to let me give this one a kiss and go past? Oh, I think we'll we'll, we'll let that one. Will go you give past. it a kiss? No, 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 no. Will no. you give me a kiss? No, no, <laughs> definitely not. <laughs> well, what about a dance? Huh? Oh, anything. <laughs> But quite seriously, have a look at that. I'll wash him off and set him going. But that's a beautiful east coast of Australian salmon. Absolutely magnificent. Have a look at this. Now, come on. And off you go. And away he goes. So that's not too bad, is it? So let's set the scene again. The sun has gone down. It's starting to get to a stage where we're gonna be starting up our machine and we're going to illuminate the beach. And not only that, we're gonna put some lights on. If you can follow that. Goodness me, have a look at that go out. That drag has got enough on it to control a very good fish. This is my light rod, and we might be able to get a little bit of line back here now, but we have, oh, we have hooked something substantial. Something substantial. This is, I'm not quite so sure whether it's a skate or a stingray. It, it, it's, it's got a more bumpy feel than that, this, you know. But, and, and when he turns, it doesn't feel as if it's putting in the resistance like the old flaps of a big stingray or a skate or a big banjo or something. So perhaps we might be in luck. Neil, I... I need you to tell me, because you've caught a lot, lot more gummies than I have, whether this long runs and then short bumps and then he comes towards you and then he goes again, I don't think it's ray or skate-like. I, no, I reckon it's shark-like. It seems like shark-like to me. Does it really? Yeah, normally, that's the way they do it, yeah. If you, well, normally a ray, you'd, you'd knock him, you know, he just goes, yeah. 
He's a swimmer, Neil. He's a so, swimmer, this fish. So he sounds pretty good to me, yeah. He does. He, 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 he sounds like this is the one we're after. He's, he's, he's doing it. And if it had been a toothy, I reckon he would have got me right away. Yeah. Although, you know, it, you never, ever know if you hook him in the lip or whatever. No, that's right. And, yep. and yet, I travel all over the world. You know, I've eaten salmon in Scotland. I've eaten brown trout in England. I've eaten... Uh, various tuners from around the world in Japan and Osaka, and I cannot find a better eating fish than a fresh gummy shark. Oh, magic. And Very yet if you go to New South Wales and Queensland, they say, you have to be kidding, kidding. eating shark, but I tell you what, <laughs> oh, they have to be, they have to be geek. Your kids, yeah. my kids and their kids, they all love the old flake. The old flake. Now, should be a chance to see something in the wash here in a minute. I'll Go down. I don't want to get too much line in, so I haven't got enough to let him go if he goes. But he's gone up the left-hand side of the beach. He's been a real swimmer. He's really put on a show here tonight. He's put on a show. Come on. You see anything down there at all, Neil? I can't see him yet, Rex. No, not at the minute. Yes, here he is. Is it a shark? Little ray. It's a ray. Oh, it's a little ray. Well, we're both wrong. We're both wrong, but anyhow, I'll bring this up and show the kids. Come on, a bit of a wave. Well, I tell you what, I'm no judge at all, Neil. I tell you what. I am no judge at all. I thought that was either a school shark or a gummy shark. Now, from where I came from, that is an eagle ray. Yep, that's one. And what Michael is going to do, kids, he's going to pick up the finest tail. Come on. Come up now. We're going to pick up the finest tail. I'll hold him there. And... The finest tail, and this is a no-no. This is a no-kiss, no-touch, absolutely no-nothing. But this... Is one of the prettiest rays going around. Look at the beautiful blue stripes. And that is just magnificent. An eagle ray with a long, long tail. Yeah. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to cut the hook off and let him go. So, Neil, you and I are both wrong, mate. We're definitely wrong. <laughs> Now, if you just get to the side of there out of that light, what I'll do is I'll... Like you say, he's a no-no, because -no, my young bloke put one of the barbs through his foot the other night. He got one of the barbs, barbs through, through his foot. foot. Yeah. See you later, mate. Off you go. He'll be fine. He'll Here be fine. Go. Oh, he's going. <laughs> he's away now. But I tell you what... Normally they don't do that. They don't usually run and go back on the boat, you know. You, now you know, say that again so we can see you, mate. <laughs> well, they do, usually don't do that. They usually oh. just swim along, stop, you know, flat, dead. I, I think a lot of people think you're smart by saying, oh, it's a gummy or it's a salmon or something like that. But when you've been in fishing as long as you have, you know. And so, same with and me. You've got, you got the feel for it. He did everything characteristic right. of a shark. Yeah. Long runs and then head yeah, shakes and that sort of thing. He just didn't didn't perform like a ray, but he no. put up a good fight, didn't oh, he? Oh, I tell you what, he took an excellent fight. Well, it's not a gummy. It is an eagle ray. And if you go to any of the aquariums in Melbourne or Sydney, you'll see him just gliding along with the snapper and the tailor and the flathead and all the species of fish. Oh. <laughs> I agree. I really am mad, but by jingo, I enjoy it.
lot of you sparkies out there would suggest there's something wrong with our generator driven lights. Let me assure you there's not. But if you are a moth anywhere in Bath Strait, please do not come near here because you'll end up a barbecued moth. Finally, another chance. Neil has hooked up to something and we might just get across. Feels like it. Yeah. And just get your opinion now, mate. I would, my opinion is a shark again, but we were wrong last time, but. What is your most prized possession apart from your missus? Apart from your kids and your grandchildren, what's your most prized possession? What is it? Me fishing rod. Are you prepared <laughs> to say to the people all around the world, I will bet my favourite fishing rod, this is a, a Noah's Ark? Oh, we're in that. Oh, he's put the bet on! <laughs> <laughs> He's put the bet on! Well, uh... <laughs> oh dear me! Are you still confident? Oh yeah mate, I am a bit confident, yeah, the way he's running. Well you caught a few in your life mate, turn it up! <laughs> he's a Noah's Ark, but he is, is he the right one? He is too. No, it's a big show! <laughs> oh. He's done his favourite! He's done his favourite oh, oh. rod! Oh, no. <laughs> I tell you what, mate, the next King Island Cup gets your missus That's and kids to do the betting for you. I tell you what, uh, provided the kids are over 18, that is, folks. <laughs> the old banjo. The old banjo. As I've explained so many times before, he's just the insincorator of the sea. And he can go back. He can go back. He's actually a male. Mate, you are not a good looking fish. <laughs> but we're going to put you back. Off you go. The old smack of Fitzgibbon fish. Come on. Come on. Come on. Off you go. Off you go. And look at that. Away he goes. You don't have to cry. <laughs> well, I feel like crying <laughs> because we've got banjos, we've got salmon, we've got eagle rays but no gummies, but it's not the end of the world because we've had a bit of action. But the thing about it is, we are going to be eaten by these alien insects. What I want to know is, Neil, what do they do when we haven't got a light here? That's the idea, mate. We fish without the light, we use the fire. There's some sort of beetle. I tell you what, Jimmy Allen will be saying, oh, old boy, they're all taking the beetles there at Penstock Lagoon. But anyhow, folks, Neil and I are going to go home because we've got another show to do for you tomorrow and we've only got a certain amount of time at this wonderful place called King Island. And if you want an insect and you don't want a gummy, you better get here fast. <laughs> it's been a pleasure, Neil. Uh, Good on you, mate. Beautiful people here, folks. They're real Aussies. Take it from me. <laughs>